I didn't notice this, but our queen is wearing that face veil. <laughs> we have a lot of sloths. <laughs> it's fine. This is normal. Hey, Freestop did his job at some point. Sometimes you just have to trust that he'll get there. Eventually. When he feels like it. Kellen on K, how you doing? Welcome on in. Doing well, excellent. Glad to hear it. Well, technically the dwarves don't actually care about this flooring like all that flooring really does is uh, increase the value of a room so if you don't have it in a room it doesn't actually matter feels guilty after being combined felt pleasure near a fine bed and a fine statue okay, this is why we have this stuff in here I should put some new flooring down there. Oh, and a new rope because it got destroyed too. <laughs> we had a slight cave in event when I was just digging this out. <laughs> Oops. Queen would like three rings and a warhammer. Apparently we've made some ballista parts.
got messages that the the um Ballista arrows had been destroyed, but I don't know if that was because of the Forgotten Beasts or if it was something else. But we're gonna give this a try. The Forgotten Beast Lulostra, Lulotostra has come, a huge alligator with lidless eyes. It has a pair of branching antennae, it has a bloated body. Its chocolate scales are large and sit far apart. Beware its poisonous bite. Good luck, Forgotten Beast. Also, I landed. Um, oh, Gosmer's back. And nothing's apparently found you yet. Okay, fine. All right, where's the other one? You're down here, huh? All right, we'll follow you for a little bit. The washed spray. No kills. Agile and weak. There are demons from the underworld in this lair because they're all over the place. You're an evil looking little thing, huh? Well, that's not very fun. Oh, well. Well, we don't have to worry about that anyways. Oh, the fortress attracted no migrants. Awesome. It's not like we could use some migrants. We haven't had 25 people die today. No, that didn't, that, that's not a big deal. That's a two-year-old child. Melville comes completely helpless in stressful situations. You would not be good in the military. All right, Doran. Doesn't handle stress well. Somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger. And handle stress. Udil, welcome to the military. Kind of amazed that we've only had the one ghost so far. Because we haven't been able to bury most of our dead. But, you know, what are you going to do? Dacost? Dacos, welcome to the military, and that is our last one. Now the question is, we lost a lot of equipment when we uh, locked off m most of our military in with the uh, bad guys. Do we in fact have enough equipment for everybody? Need more pants! We need some Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Iron Greaves. 
Uh, 20 of them, please. Also, we have an artifact. The Bone Carver. Cleaned a stone crafter shop. Where are you, Bone Carver? There you are. We'll follow them for a minute. Thank everybody for hanging out today. You know, chat's a little quiet. That's okay. I don't mind. But you know, you're always welcome to ask me questions. Ask how the writing's going. Let me know how things are going for you. If you're writing out there, if you're doing things, getting things done, I'm happy to celebrate. Just like when Aban finishes this task. He's going to be creating a Shodok Elbem, which is going to include a stray alpaca bone, cave spider silk cloth, iron bars, nice, tapered baguette cut star sapphires, iron bars, and two pieces of nice. It occurs to me I never got a message that after we put the adamantine throne there that the queen was happy. Does that mean these seven items don't actually count because some of them were together in a lot? I don't know. Oh, we got some more uh, cats for our duke. <laughs> Lost in the next time the last in checks in, they're gonna have so many cats. Cheetah, Ocelot, Tiger. Apparently, we have a turkey in too. Okay. Uh, also, we have a bonobo. The bone carver has created Shodok Elbem, an alpaca bone cage. Claims it as a family heirloom. Shodok Elbem is an alpaca bone cage worth 31,900. It is encircled with bands of cave spider silk, iron, and cushion nice cabazons. The object is adorned with hanging rings of nice and menaces with spikes of nice. On the item is an image of table cut gems and alpaca bone. On the item is an image of Adil Jumped Labor, the dwarf in a llama wool cloth and star sapphire. Adil is raising the llama wool cloth. The artwork relates to the masterful llama wool cloth created by the dwarf Adil for the breath of quests of Dragon Age in the late winter of 18. On the item is an image of radiant cut gems in iron. What a fine cage. Uh, I totally think we should put that in the Rangers Guild.
Shodak, I'm oh, sorry, Stackhood, the uh, woodworker, is socializing in the woodworker's guild with no one else there. Who are you talking to, bud? I treasure my freedom, he says. Or she says. doing queen oh the queen's making some lie it's great when we all get a chance to be married together we want to pray to arbon the nourishing and pray to anraz we have those don't we that's arban the nourishing that's doran that's Kodor. And that's Anris. I give you the opportunities to pray. It's up to you to take them. No, I don't actually want that spot. some hitching on the frame rate there for a minute. Oh. Well, we missed it. <laughs> uh, it was another intense fight between the blizzard ban uh, between the demons. The blizzard banshee kicks the forgotten beast in the head with her right front foot, bruising the muscle and bruising the skull. The force bends the neck and the severed part sails off in an arc. That's not very sporting of you. Now you've killed two forgotten beasts and one of my dwarves. That was the same one. Your fight so far has been like killed two forgotten beasts in one strike each and also killed a dwarf. All the named demons are way down here now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a four wide bridge here and then put it and then open up a two wide area here.
I'm going to put another bridge over here. And I think I'm going to tie both bridges to the same lever. Never happens. Are we getting a bunch of people lurking? If you feel like it, you can uh, go over to the YouTube side and uh, leave a like over there. I'm not stopping you. working on two things as of late your larger novel currently around 43,000 words aiming for 100k and a fan work for the cyberpunk universe excellent I I have gone over and said okay I want this story to be X number of words long but I generally don't like I, I do that for nano right say okay I'm gonna write a 50,000 word novel I still have a hard time thinking about stories in that way. Like, I don't know. Obviously, everybody does their writing style differently, and, and that is perfectly fine. But I think I'm at a state where I'm just like, the story's going to be as long as I want it to be. And we'll go from there. And I didn't realize I was paused. Good job, me. I was off checking other things real quick. Darn it. All right, this is linked. Excellent. Looks like we need more silver bars again. <laughs> hey, Ahi how you doing? I'm not writing stories today, but I think I'll just make some copper arrowheads. We got 19 of those. That's fine. Uh, copper ballista arrowheads. Make 20 of those, and then assemble silver ballista arrows. And I guess we have 19 of those. How you doing out here, Hope you're well. Haven't seen you of late. <laughs> doing tired. What are you working on today? I'm working on being tired. Uh, that's great. How are things on my side? I am still recovering from a cold from uh, pre... I mean, it's not really a cold at this point, right? It's, it's just a persistent cough. But, yeah. But I'm managing. All right. Bridge. That way. I don't know what that message was for. What is that message for? This will be black bronze. Like a black bronze bridge would be nice. Yeah, so I get like a seasonal cough 
that last for way too long. Um, and as a result, I end up having a cough for way too long. And um, if you couldn't have guessed. So I will probably still have this cough for another couple of months. All right, so that's that. Let's make another lever. Yeah, so in the like, so if between November and April, I generally get this. Not not entirely for the like those six months or whatever, uh, but for most of it. And it basically coincides with when I, when the windows are basically shut for the the winter. And so my doctor seems to think that it's related to just like the dust of the house kind of thing. Um, making it so that I, I don't get fresh air, essentially. I could probably resolve it by spending more time outside or whatever, but who wants to do that? But yeah, at this point, it's mostly just an annoyance. Oh, a section of the cavern has collapsed. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, demons. How you doing? Good? <laughs> we have outside at home, dear. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. I'm kind of upset I missed that that forgotten bees dying. Oh right, we have a turkey that's stuck in a cage. I should probably train it and slaughter it. All right. We're going to retake this eventually. Eventually, we are going to retake this. Why is there a dead kangaroo here? Questions that you never thought you'd have to ask, and yet you do. A little over the counter nasal spray to deal with ear, nose, and throat infections. It's been life changing for you, and personally. Yeah, I have not done well with nasal sprays, so that's why I stay away from them, but that was also one of the recommendations. We do seem to still have a good assortment of weapons and armor down here. I don't know why that's locked. Yep, everybody's different and that's why it's complicated. I could just pull this lever and flood this whole area. I'm not going to though. We ever get a gremlin to come in and, and pull the lever though? I would I would laugh. I, I would laugh. At some point I should probably finish cleaning up this area, but like it's in the middle of everything. <laughs> gremlin, I'm right here. I'm talking about an actual gremlin in the game, but sure. Probably sell some of these barrels. Yeah, we are out of logs. This is a problem. All right, so we cannot chop more than 60 trees for the season. No more than 60. That's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven
20, 25, 25 is fine. I never did build like some amazing structure on the surface here, mostly because I didn't want to cut down trees or anything. Like all I have is this animal pen that granted is like a pyramid. It's got the two levels to it. It's got plenty. It's very airy. It's got plenty of air in it. Luckily, we've been um, cutting down trees and accidentally almost killing our wood, our carpenter, our woodcutters here. Fun stuff. They needed more excitement in their lives. Yeah, Cyril, walk it off. Seriously, my goodness. I if all you're doing is vomiting, I don't want to hear about it. It's fine. Yes, plenty of animals in there. Some might say too many animals, and they'd be right. But you know what? We have a kangaroo, Joey. What more could you need? This one happens to be sickly and clumsy, but you know, maybe maybe this one's better. Where'd he go? That's not a Joey. That's a Joey. This one's not clumsy and sickly. <laughs> okay, you're in. <laughs> Apparently there's just a tooth right there. That's normal. I noticed there's a bunch of teeth up here too. Yoink. 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 All right, our queen wants a ring and two more hammers. It occurs to me we used up a bunch of silver. Uh, rock rings. And silver war hammers. Um, and let's smelt some tetrahedrite. Like a hundred, hundred of it. Sure. All right. So we now have two more bridges. I want to link this to there and link it to here. And I want a ballista there, except we don't have enough parts. What else is new? We actually made our soap. That's good. So here's the idea. We cut open two, two spaces here. We put our military in here. We lock the door. And I do think I need to close this off. I need it attached over here. That's what I really need to do. We'll just do this. Summer we go. In summer. I'm just going to wall that off.
All right, so we're gonna have this linked up to both those bridges. Well, we're gonna cut open that. We're gonna put our military in here. We're gonna put a couple of ballista operators over here. They are gonna fire ballista arrows across at the demons as they come in. And this isn't gonna work very well if the demons go down here. Huh. That's gonna have to do. Anyway, so we'll lock both these doors at the same time. We'll fire our ballista arrows at them, hopefully weakening them a little bit. And then we'll open this up and let one or a couple of demons in at a time. That's the idea. We'll see how it goes. I shouldn't be doing this with bridges. If I did this with doors, I could do it individually. Hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes. We shall see. Where are the stones? You're not sure what these demons are, but you're willing to wait and see? Uh, they are unkind. We lost about uh, 30 dwarves to them. Now, granted, we lost them because I plan poorly. And I'll tell you right now that this is not necessarily a good plan either. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can actually take a look at the demons at the moment. Uh, let's see here. So here's one. This is Solonolol, a slate gray brute. The name translates roughly to Flag Lords, the Grand Sewer of Lowness. Seriously injured. Uh, it is a gigantic vulture with lidless eyes. It has a pair of knobby antennae and it squirms and fidgets. Its slate gray feathers are patchy. Beware its poisonous sting. Uh, its left foot is mangled beyond recognition and its true ribs are mangled beyond recognition. Uh, this one has five kills of my dwarves. Uh, then there's Hot Worried the Stupid. I did not give it this name. It picked it, uh, which is also a slate gray brute. So it's going to be the same description. Uh, it's upper body is, left, is cut open. It's right leg is broken, right lung rather. Uh, this one has 15 kills. And then there's Tecmogabet, which is translates to slithered limped. This one appears to be uninjured. Also a slate gray brute, so it's still a gigantic vulture. Uh, this one has four kills. And if you're wondering if that's the only three that we're talking about, the answer is no. Uh, so those are slate gray brutes. So we've got at least four more slate gray brutes. There's another four, so that's eight. And we have devils of flame. Here's a named devil of flame. Uh, this is a great blob composed of flame. It has three short tails and a bloated body. Uh, this one has killed one dwarf. Do we have to go up against this entire list? Well, we, we do if we want to recapture our, our the bottom layers of our fort. Which I do. So these guys, they don't actually, like, have any attacks other than the ability to throw fire which happens to be very powerful so but they're very they're very vulnerable like if they get hit by one of my ballista arrows they'll just die and you see they're just flying all around these caves here so anyways that's those. We also have steam devils, which are a uh, very large moose composed of steam with wings and a bloated body. Um, we have blizzard banshees, which are gigantic stegosaurids composed of snow with wings and a bloated body. Um, Ghost of salt, which is a 
very large slug composed of salt. It also has wings. So this is hell. This is the underworld. And it doesn't look very impressive, but you know. Yeah, it's all slug. There's also boiling phantoms, which are uh, gigantic moose composed of steam. It has two stubby tails and a bloated body. And I think that's the bulk of the different kinds of demons. A human caravan has arrived. Hmm. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to have to fight those if we want to recover our fort, and uh, I do. So. All right, humans, you love amulets, don't you? Also, you love our used clothing. Not that. <laughs> we humans do enjoy our amulets. Yeah, exactly. I'll sell all those. This, this. Footwear. You love our used footwear. I'm just selling them the stuff that's been worn through. But you can see with the X's next to their names. Oh, that's a bunch. If I accidentally sell something that's not worn through, it's not the end of the world, but... Because I can always make more. Because as they, as we uh, have already established, I have a large body of animals. Yeah, we'll just sell all those and that and these and these and these and these and all of those. All right. And wear, yep, gloves, 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 gloves. All the gloves. All right. Headwear. Yeah, we'll sell that helm and that helm. Uh, trousers. Chris may have a bunch of leather. I should probably do something with that. All right. Uh, on to non used stuff. Um,. Figurines. I think we made a bunch of non-rock figurines. Yes, dog bone, sheep's bone. These are all Tacovis tax prints towards silvers of glowing. Can't sell rings. Can never sell rings. Statues. We will sell you nine nice statues. All right, uh, 606 items, chop chop people, let's go. Mm -hmm. 